Hello everyone, how are you doing today? In today's video, we have an Acer V3-371 series laptop. The exact model is an MS2392. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install the Windows 10 properly into the disk uh, laptop. If you have an old hard drive installed already with Windows, you wanna format it, or you have upgraded your hard drive to an SSD drive and you wanna install Windows, I'm gonna take you on step-by-step -step how to do that. First, you need a Windows USB boot drive. I made a, a specific video on how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive. Follow that link on my video description. And once you have your Windows 10 uh, boot drive ready, all you need to do is to plug it inside your any of the laptop port and plug in the charger. The charger for this one is broken, so I have improvised and made my own charger. So plug in your charger. And remember this uh, laptop once you, you want to get to the boot menu on this one. But F12 is for the selecting boot menu, but F12 is disabled, so you need to enable the F12. So in order to get to the BIOS, all you need to do is hold down on F2 while you power on the laptop. So hold down F2 and power it on. And don't let go until you get to the BIOS. And now you can let go. This is your BIOS menu. Inside the BIOS menu right now, you're going to go down on the tab, to different tabs. We're going to go to the main. On the main tab, it says F12 boot menu is disabled. So you want to go down with an arrow keys on the F12 boot and press enter. Enable, go down, enable. Now F2 boot menu is enabled. So all you need to do, go back up, go to exit, exit, save changes. Once you do that, just keep tapping on F12. Enter, yes, and keep tapping on F12. So you should get this menu. Uh, in this menu, you should be able to see USB hard drive here. That means your, that's your USB is detected. You might see a Windows boot manager. That means you have a hard drive with a Windows installed. So um, this one has an SSD drive, brand new SSD in here. That's why it's not showing up. Yours might have showing something else too. So you wanna select your USB drive from here, press enter. Now it's gonna boot up through the USB drive. All right, now you are in the installation, Windows installation menu. So you're gonna to get to choose your language, English, your currency format, US English, click next. And there's only one button it says install. So go ahead and click install. Now you're gonna get this menu, is for terms and licensing. Just click I accept. Obviously, start reading all the terms and privacy, if you wish, and click next. Now here, you're gonna get two options, upgrade or custom. You always wanna choose the custom. And here, if you have a, you upgraded your SSD drive, you're only gonna see one drive zero, one whole space. But if you have few drives in here, and let's say, let's create a few drives in here. Let's say click new, apply. So you might have it in this way, drive zero, drive zero, drive zero, few partitions. And if you wanna format it, just click on each one of them and click delete. Okay, go to the next, delete. Okay, go to the other one and delete all of them. Once you delete everything, then delete option is becomes disabled. That means everything is deleted and it becomes one big drive. And all you need to do is select the drive and click next. You don't need to click new. Just click next and it will do all the partitions and it will start installing the windows. It will take about uh, five to 10 minutes and it's gonna do one or twice the restart and it should get you to the welcome screen with the Cortana talking to you. So I'm just gonna fast forward this part and let it just restart.
All right, so it was about two or three restarts, and now it should take you to a welcome screen, and it is going. And you might hear Cortana start talking, so you can mute right away Cortana on the bottom left side. Just click on mute button on the Cortana if you hear her talking. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. There we go. So we're just going to click mute here. And now let's wait for the Cortana to realize that you shut her up. So it takes you to manual override, so you can actually choose the options instead of talking to her, arguing with her what to click. It is very important that you not connect any uh, internet cables to this laptop at the moment, and we're not going to connect to the Wi-Fi. It is very important. So choose your region, next, and click your keyboard layout, and click yes. Additional keyboard layout, escape. Now it's going to choose, give you to choose a connection to network. Just click I don't have internet. Even if you do have, just click I don't have it. I'll explain in a minute why. Uh, connecting to internet, just click continue with a limited setup. And put the name. Uh, click next. For the password, put a password or just click leave it blank. Click next. Now here you want to uh, remove all these checks, so you don't want them to have, people are fanatic about spying this and that, so just remove everything, and it just helps to speed up the laptop a little bit, so just remove all this, advertising ID, this and that, click accept, and Cortana help you get things done, not now. Now it should get you to the desktop. You still at this point don't want to connect to any uh, internet or with a cable or with a Wi-Fi because there is a uh, bloatware is still ready to be downloaded. And because Microsoft, it does a deal with a different third party uh, programmers, companies, programs that they add a shortcut in here. So as soon as you have an internet connection, they start downloading like a Candy Crush, and um, McAfee antivirus and many other things. Those are the blood work that will slow you down. So we want to remove those before we connect to the internet and do any updating. So we're going to wait until we get to the desktop. All right, we are almost there. And there we go. Now, once you're in the desktop, few things that you need to do out of the box. First, let's click on this uh, Microsoft Edge, click maybe later and all this and first thing first i don't like this big search bar right here it takes lots of space right click on the search Sh show search icon only now we're going to go to the start menu and all these plot words are ready to be downloaded so all you need to do is right click on one of them and click on pin and do this to all of them and here there's like a six of them right in there just click on pin when you unpin them from here they will just get removed, they will not get downloaded. It's not like a shortcut to be downloaded. So unpin all of them. For the Microsoft Store, when you unpin this one, it's just removing it from here. It still exists in the program list because it's been installed already. Microsoft Edge, unpin. Photos, unpin. And we are interested about this one. And this one, just click unpin. For Microsoft Office, Mail, Outlook, all this, if you have a license key, just keep them and just add your license key. But I usually like to uninstall them because I have my own uh, version to install. So I don't have the license for 365 version. So once you remove or do whatever you want to do here, that's fine. Now we can go ahead and connect to our Wi-Fi. And or with a cable connected to the modem and then you want to go to wind start menu configuration and go down to the windows update and security and click on uh, check for update and it's going to look for a big list of update and let it just update it might take about half an hour to download and depending on your internet speed once they restarts come back and double check until you get a green check mark right here after that, you can just install your regular programs and you should be ready to go. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own installation. If you have any questions or requests, 
feel free to leave them in a video comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.